the main aim behind this project was to get the pupils to use primary documents. Um, during my studying uh, as a historian, I never actually looked at primary documents until we came to university level. I wanted the pupils to use um, a wide variety of documents, be they newspapers, um, historical uh, letters, um, images, and so on, to build up a unique story on Carmarthen. I also wanted them to look at local history. Local history, I firmly believe, has been ignored um, by a wide variety of schools. Um, although I touch upon local history here and there, there's no in-depth study. This gave me an opportunity to use an in-depth study. It also brought the subject alive to the pupils. Um, I decided to use this in year nine. Year nine is a very important year because this is when the children choose to do uh, a subject. So pure and simply from a selfish point of view, I wanted bums on seats. By doing history and by making the subject come alive then, I saw this as a valuable opportunity to broaden the um, the base that we, we, we come from. I also wanted the pupils to look at the work of historians and how historians actually study history, how they go about looking at primary documents and how they interpret primary documents. Um, in order to achieve this, I've worked alongside um, the local library, the local archives and the local museum. It was valuable for me to get the children to go out into these uh, arenas and for them to work alongside professionals in developing their own unique story on Carmarthen. It felt as though the pupils belonged uh, and owned the work themselves then. Um, another aspect then is that um, since developing this work, I've worked alongside the National Library um, and the People's Collection. This has given them an opportunity to broaden the perspective beyond Carmarthen. And as the website would show, this gives you an opportunity to look at your own local history. In this clip, I'm outlining to the pupils uh, what I would require them to do with the sources of information. I'm outlining the fact that each one of them has a different source of information and the fact that they will be building upon their own story on Carmarthenshire. Each source of information um, has a variety of different aspects they can look upon and they can tackle, be they newspapers, photographs or written information. This is already building upon information that they've already acquired. I want them to develop their answers and look in depth on the sources of information in order to prepare for the presentation. I'm emphasizing the importance that each one uh, of the information that they gather is unique and their story would be unique as a result. Okay, so we should be able to do this. Thank you.